our first presenter here wasn't the first to make paper from straw. The ancient Egyptians already made papyrus. But Columbia Pulp saw an environmental problem in their neighborhood and managed to turn it into a sustainable product. Let's hear the story from Columbia Pulp CEO, John Begley. Good morning. My name is John Begley and I'm the president of Columbia Pulp. Columbia Pulp is a manufacturer of wheat straw pulp located in eastern Washington. Uh, the reason, um, the background for Columbia Pulp is that over 20 years ago, the state of Washington was forced with a environmental uh, problem that they needed to address. Wheat straw burning in Washington represented more, pollution, more air pollution than the top 20 manufacturers, industrial sites, in the state at that time. So over 20 years ago, uh, the state of uh, Washington Department of Ecology looked at trying to find alternative uses for this straw rather than to burn it. The state started to fund different alternatives to look at creating commercialization op opportunities for the straw. One of those was with the University of Washington Pulp and Paper School looking at making pulp out of the straw. Now this is something that's been done for a long time, many centuries, going, dating back to the Egyptians and papyrus, using straw to make paper. Historically, when straw is a much weaker fiber than, for example, wood, and when you would treat it similar to, similarly to how you treated wood, you would destroy the fiber. So a new technique needed to be developed that allowed for a, a gentler process that didn't destroy the cellulose, and B, found a way of capturing the byproduct, the lignin carbohydrates uh, part of the straw that wasn't going into the cellulose pulp. You, this technology uh, that was developed uh, will produce 250, will consume 250,000 tons of residual wheat straw every year and turn it into a commercial product. The, uh, one of the reasons why we chose the location in eastern Washington was it was the center of one of the largest, densest wheat growing areas in the world. We'll consume about 250,000 tons of straw a year within the 20, or within the 75 mile radius of the uh, mill, there will be, uh, there is grown annually about 4 million tons of straw. Looking at adding Columbia pulp fiber to your product mix, uh, we have tested Columbia pulp's fiber in various end use markets. One of those is tissue and found good success in substituting hardwood fiber for uh, the Columbia pulp straw. Adding Columbia pulp fiber to your products can help reduce your carbon footprint. It's the utilization of an agricultural residual product. It's energy efficient. It has minimal water usage. We use about a quarter of the water that a normal pulping process uh, uh, utilizes. There is, it's low odor. There is no sulfur involved in our process. So it's a sulfur free uh, process. It is unbleached and totally chlorine free. It is a state of the art facility with a state of the art process. Thank you and uh, have a good day. John Beckley from Columbia Pop.